Grade 6 math number 5.2. Rates. Ah, we did ratios, now we're doing rates. A rate is a ratio that compares two quantities that have different units of measure. So it's still a ratio, but it's comparing miles to hours, meters to days, dollars to gallons. See? Two different types of measurements. So it's not measuring feet to inches. It's literally me measuring miles to hours or dollars to gallons. Two complete different types of measurements. See that? A unit rate is the comparison to one unit. 2 over 8, we divide the 2 by 8 and the 8 by 8, and we get 1 fourth to 1. See? That would be our rate. We divide the numerator and the denominator by the number in the denominator, and it'll tell us the unit rate, the per, P-E-R. Emma paid $19.60 for 8 gallons of gasoline. Find the rate for 1 gallon. We want to find the unit rate for a gallon of gasoline. She went to the gas pump. She, she uh, spent $19.60, and it gave her 8 gallons. What did she pay per gallon? So we put the price over the fluid amount, the $19.60 over the 8 gallons. We write a ratio that compares dollars to gallons, the $19.60 over the 8. We divide the numerator and denominator by the number in the denominator, $19.60 divided by 8. 8 goes into 19 two times. 8 times 2 is 16. We do subtraction and get 3. It's the 6's turn to come down. 8 goes into 36 four times. We put our decimal point straight up above like we're supposed to. 8 times 4 is 32. We do our subtraction and get a 4. It's the 0's turn to come down. 8 goes into 45 times. $2.45 for one gallon. See? So this would be for each gallon. You divide the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So the unit rate is $2.45, and the gallon costs $2.45 per gallon. See? When we see per, that tells us it's a rate compared to a ratio. So here's the big comparisons. Let me back up so you can see. We're looking at this section right here underneath my hand, okay? A ratio versus a rate. A ratio is a quotient of two numbers. So remember the bar in the fraction is a division bar. So if we had 12 over 3, it would equal 4. Okay, so it's like a, a division problem, right? I've told you that before. So ratio is a quotient of two numbers. It compares two numbers, wins versus losses. It can be written as 1 to 3 or 1 third or 1 to 3 like that. It compares two quantities of the same unit. So a ratio would compare the games played, wins to losses. It would also compare students, boys to girls. It compares numbers to each other. See? Whereas a rate, a rate is a ratio of two measurements of different units, like used in per unit. It has a denominator of one, like we did here. See? $2.45 per gallon. It's the ratio between two measures of different units. $5 per bag of apples. $2.50 per gallons of gas. 60 miles per hour. One and a half inches per day the plant grew. So see how the word per is used? And it's comparing money or miles or inches to apples or gallons of gas or hours or days. See? These are all units of measure. So when you think of rate, think of unit of measure. Think of miles per hour. What's your rate of speed? My rate of speed was 60 miles per hour. See? It's a rate. It's how, how much in a measurement, how fast you were going. Okay? At the grocery store, Emma wanted the best deal for strawberry jam. Nim's brand was $3.60 for a 24-ounce jar, and Berry brand was $4.16 for a 32-ounce jar. 
Well, that's more money than the NIMS brand, but it's also more ounces. So what's the better deal? Which jam should she buy? All right, well, let's write the amount for NIMS over the ounces and then divide both by the denominator. 24 can go into $3.60. Remember to keep your decimal point. 24 goes into 36 one time. We do the 24 by 1 and get 24 and put it down here and subtract. 36 minus 24 is 12. It's the zero's turn to come down. Little math on the side. 24 times 5 is 120. So we know that it's 0.15. So it's 15 cents per ounce. Okay? So now we do Berry Brand and we put the $4.16 over the 32 ounces and divide the top and the bottom by the the 32, right? That's a form of 1. We're dividing by a form of 1 like we learned in our other video. And $4.16 divided by 32. 32 goes into 41 one time. And then we write the 32 down there and do our subtraction and get a 9. And now it's the 6's turn to come down. A little multiplication on the side tells us that 32 times 3 is 96. So it's 13 cents per ounce. So what's the better deal? Oh, the berry brand, she's going to save two cents per ounce. She's going to get a bigger jar, even though this is more money than the 360, this is cheaper than this one. See? Because she would pay less per ounce. She's going to get more jam per ounce than she would for that one. See? For, this, for, the, for less amount of money. So those are rates. Just remember, a ratio is, it compares numbers, okay? where a rate multiplies measurements. That's going to be the best way to tell them apart. A ratio compares numbers and a rate multiplies measurements. Okay? You're saying five dollars for each bag of apples. See? The plant grew one and a half inches each day. So you're multiplying a measurement. See? Each day or each bag or each gallon. See? All right. Hopefully this has cleared up the difference between a ratio and a rate. I know a lot of people have problems with this, and I'll see you next video.